hello this is Suraj from our automation experts uh, let's see how we can do explicit way with JNM web driver with the help of lambda expressions okay now so first of all I just want to mention that um, using implicit weight is uh, uh, not recommended because uh, suppose if you have set a um, implicit weight for 30 seconds and you don't have a, a element on your DOM then uh, a selenium, selenium will wait for 30 seconds before it throws uh, no such element exception so it's always uh, recommended to go with the explicit weight and to avoid implicit weights uh, under uh, explicit weights uh, selenium has provided uh, plenty of methods for us to work with uh, uh, different uh, uh, types of uh, uh, explicit weights uh, under uh, expected conditions class uh, but if you have a very custom sync needs or uh, uh, you know specific kind of weighting that you need for uh, your particular test case then you can go with uh, uh, lambda expressions uh, now let's see how we can do this okay let's go into create one uh, object for web driver weight Wait, wait as a new web driver wait its constructor will take two arguments uh, one is driver instance and other one is uh, timeout in timeout integer timeout in seconds so you can say wait dot until inside this until function you need to pass what kind of uh, explicit uh, what kind of waiting you want uh, so uh, if you use expected conditions this is powered by Selenium. Uh, you get uh, plenty of options for different scenarios so like guard. Uh, you can wait uh, as you can see here, multiple uh, many many options like uh, you can wait for the attribute to be something. You can uh, wait for the element state to be selection state to be something. Uh, there are many many methods. But if you ever want to use like um, uh, a uh, very specific weight uh, scenario. You uh, that is a very uh, you know very specific to your needs uh, then you can go ahead with the uh, uh, lambda expressions uh, I'll, I'll show you how to do, do with uh, work with lambda, uh, lambda expressions here so uh, 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 lambda expressions are basically nothing but uh, you know uh, a way to pass a behavior or a function as an argument uh, it's basically an anonymous uh, method uh, that doesn't belong to any class uh, so let's see how we can do this with the uh, web driver uh, okay I'm just going to write uh, web driver x uh, lambda expression here web driver dr uh, then this uh, hyphen greater than symbol this is used to write uh, uh, writing or uh, lambda uh, expression okay then you can say dr dot find um, so, um, get page source contains uh, some text here. So basically, what this does is the statement basically waits for some, uh, some text to to appear on the page. Okay, of course he has some default uh, uh, functions for this under uh, expected. Uh, expected conditions class but uh, uh, let's say uh, you have a scenario where you have to wait for either of two web elements to appear on page uh, those are the kind of scenarios that, not, that they are not available under expected conditions uh, class so we can make use of uh, lambda that's when lambda expressions uh, come into play okay so we can uh, I'll just uh, delete this this is a this is just an example for waiting for a text to be appear on page I'm just going to do this now let's say we if you have two web elements they are on the DOM but we are waiting for either one of them to be uh, to appear on the page well, how would we do this with the lambda expressions so I'm just going to say driver dot find uh, elements by note that you have to use this dr instance not the you know general driver instance the one within your uh, lambda expression argument okay now you can say uh, by dot whatever location strategy you want to use i'm just going to say xpath let's say this is element one is displayed or 
I'm going to put our condition here then you can say dr dot pandemic match by dot uh, xpath uh, other web element dot dot is this will basically what this expression does this uh, it waits for either of these web elements to be to display on page of course if they are not in the dom itself you are going to get uh, uh, no such element uh, exception also if uh, the if this condition is not uh, satisfied within the time maximum timeout uh, is given here that is 10 seconds in this case you are going to get a timeout exception uh, then okay also you can okay this is the way to do it this is a very specific scenario like like i mentioned before this is where your lambda expressions are useful uh, of course you have you have bunch of lots of options inside expected conditions so this is for a very specific scenario okay suppose uh, suppose okay you can see that here uh, your locators are hard coded but if you are using any uh, framework already or usually people uh, use a uh, page object model or uh, stuff like that so in that case uh, hard coding may not be a good idea because uh, hard coding will go against your, your framework uh, uh, best practices so in that case what you can do is uh, you can just instantiate your page object class using this driver instance and access the web element from there you can just say new web uh, web driver i'm sorry new your page class what is let's say you have a uh, uh, page object class called as home page then you can just say home page uh, home page then pass in the driver instance so you have to pass this driver instance remember not the general uh, use this instance driver you have to use the dr then you can just uh, access the element from that class uh, public element uh, then you can check whether or not it's getting displayed this way in this way this is helpful if you are you have if you don't want hard code and you, you want to use the elements from your page object class okay of course this is a very specific scenario where i wait for either of these web elements to come on page you may have several other uh, like very specific conditions say if you are waiting for uh, all the rows to be available uh, on a web table or something like that so basically uh, you need to write an expression that evaluates to a boolean value then uh, write it uh, inside a inside a lambda expression just like this so also lambda expressions only work after java 8 i think i don't think they were, were implemented before uh, java 8 so uh, this is the way to uh, write a very custom explicit weight with the uh, java lambda expressions thank you for watching